everybody. Welcome back. I'm Miss Sue from Hope, and guess what? We have an exciting story today about two brothers, but guess what? They really didn't get along very well. It kind of ends up real rough at the end of our story, but for right now, go ahead and give your crew leaders a high five, and let's get started on our fun day. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, we're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone. Gonna get a little crazy, yeah, a little wild. Here we go now, come give it a try. Move it to the left now. Welcome back, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that song. Welcome, my Bible buddy. He's back again. And we're going to find out just what he knows about giant manta rays because that's our Bible friend who helps us learn our Bible memory. All right, are you ready? Uh -huh. You ready for this or that challenge? Get ready at home. Get ready to vote. Arms down at your side. All right, Maddox. Sometimes manta rays hang out in groups while they eat. Are groups of giant manta rays called a squadron or a school? If you think it's a squadron, raise this arm. If you think it's a school of manta rays, raise this arm. This or that. You think it's a squadron? Drum roll, please. Ding, 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 ding. All right, here comes Buzzly B to get you started. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Cover your eyes and take a peek. Can you see Buzzly B? Hi, Buzzly. Buzz. Hi, kids. I'm Buzzly B, your buddy. Believe me, I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> if you're happy, buzz like a bee and smile like me. Ready? One, two, three, buzz. <laughs> 
I can't wait for you to meet my Bible buddy. Her name is Ray, and she's a giant manta ray. Can you pretend you're swimming in the water and say, hey, Ray? Hey, Ray! <laughs> hey, friends, I'm Ray, and I'm a giant manta ray. I'm a really big fish, and I live in the ocean. It's fun. I swim all day long. I have a long tail. See? Don't worry, it doesn't sting. I'm a nice fishy. I just glide through the water. Whee! When I'm hungry, I use fancy fins near my mouth to scoop up little tiny snacks. Mmm! My food is so yummy. In the Bible, you can read about two brothers who didn't get along. Uh-oh. And it all started with a tasty meal. One brother tricked his dad. Jacob pretended to be Esau when he made his dad a special meal. Maybe your family doesn't always get along either. Brothers and sisters aren't always kind to each other. It hurts your feelings when no one wants to play with you. And it's easy to get really mad when someone takes your favorite toy. Even when people don't get along, you can trust God and know that He's in charge. In the Bible book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 4, it says, For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything He does. God's in charge. So, when you're mad, take a deep breath, choose to be kind, and just glide away like me. See? You can do it. We can trust God. Let's tell Buzzly B the great news. We'll say we can trust God together on the count of three. One, two, three. We can trust God. Trust God. It's totally true. Believe me. God loves you, and you, and you. It's time for me to buzz away. Don't forget, God loves you each and every day. Let's wave goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye, Buzzly. <laughs> Welcome back for our Bible verse time. The Bible was originally written in three languages, and now it's written in hundreds of languages, so everyone all around the world can read it and understand it in their own language. But our Bible verse is Psalm 33, 4, and I'm going to say the first line, and you guys are going to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Ready? And the word of the Lord is true. And the word of the Lord is true. And we can trust. And we can trust. Everything he does. Everything he does. One more time, repeat after me. And the word of the Lord is true. Now. And the word of the Lord is true. Good. And we can trust. And we can trust. Everything he does. Everything he does. Good job. Thank you very much. Yay.
This is a story about brothers, a younger brother and an older brother. And even though they were twins, one was still very much older and one was younger. And their parents were Isaac and Rebecca. So Isaac and Rebecca, will you join me? If you're an older brother in your family, I would like for you, this is everybody at home, if you're the oldest brother or sister or the only, stand up because you had a special thing happen back in Bible times. You were the one who got the blessing. Now, everybody sit down that's the oldest. Here's the thing. If you were a younger one, if you're a younger brother, a younger sister, you can stand up now. It wasn't that you weren't cool and all, but in Bible times, the younger children, the younger siblings served the older ones. The older ones got everything that was so nice and everything that was special. They got the blessing. They got all the good stuff. All right. So we're going to have our older brother, Esau. Come on up, Esau. And our younger brother, Jacob. Jacob, come on up. And they were very different looking, but yet they were both brothers. All right. The boys, they really didn't get along as kids. But we're going to fast forward to when they got older. And by now, the dad, Isaac, was old and he couldn't see well. So Isaac, you better go lay down because you're that much older. And he called his brother or called his son, the oldest son, Esau, to come to him. And Esau went in there and he said, son, I'm getting so old now and it's time for me to give you the blessing. So go out and hunt and kill and prepare my favorite meal and bring it back to me and I'll give you the blessing. Esau was so excited and he took off. But guess what happened? Rebecca heard this happened, heard this discussion between the two, and she wanted Jacob to get the blessing. So they were scheming together, and here's what they did. You guys look like you're scheming together. Rebecca whispered to him, just go out to the yard, get two goats, bring them back. I'm going to cook them up. I'm going to make his favorite meal and you're gonna go and give it to him and get the blessing. But guess what? Jacob said, um, mom, my brother, my brother's still gone. My brother is much bigger than me. He's very hairy. I'm not quite as hairy. He has, he works with goats, so he smells a little bit like a goat. What are we gonna do? And the mom said, don't worry, just trust me. And off they went, off Jacob went and got the goat, brought it back to the mom. She cooked up the meal. And then guess what she did? She said, here you go, my son. I'm going to put on you a cloak of your brother's. And it smells like your brother. So back up, mom. He's going to go. She gave him the special dish. And he carried it into the dad. Carry the dish in. And he said, Isaac sat up and asked. He said, Esau, is, is that you serving me the meal? It, it sure didn't take you very long to go hunt and kill it. And Jacob said, scheming the whole time, yeah, sure, it's me, dad. And Esau, or Jacob said, go ahead, go ahead, you can feel me. So Isaac felt him. It felt like Esau. And then he smelt him. Give him a smell. He said, smells a little bit goatish. Smells like him. This must be my oldest son, Esau. And he took the blessing, which we're using a treasure box, but a real blessing was not a treasure. It was just words that the father would say to the child who got the blessing. And he gave the treasure to Jacob. Jacob was doing something that was very bad for his family and his future, something that was not gonna be very safe. So guess what his mom told him to do? 
she told him, go away and live with your uncle. So he ran away. Then guess what happens? So here comes Esau. He's been out hunting. He's been out slaving. He killed himself some beautiful goats. He fixed his dad's favorite meal. He takes it to the dad. Here you go, dad. And guess what? They both figured out that the brother had stolen, had schemed against them and stolen his birthright. He was mad. Esau was mad. He stomped his feet in anger and he took off to go find his brother. And that's where our story ends for today. sure struggled, didn't they? They had their problems, just like we all have problems in our families, but God always has a plan. So as we close today, if there's any struggles in your family between family members or friends or extended family, just remember God always has a great plan and he always is for peace and restoration in families. So we're going to pray that today. Lord, I just thank you for blessing these families, the families that are watching. Lord, I ask that you give them a special blessing and give them all peace within their family members. Teach them, Lord, how to love each other and to get along and to do what's right in your eyes. I thank you, Lord, for each home that we've been able to be in today, and I thank you for all the ways you bless us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Tune in next week for the rest of this story. It's pretty dicey. See you then. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. It's time to make my way back home. I know Jesus loves me. He loves me so. Jesus loves me, he loves me so